If you are serious about leveling up, you will lose friends. That is simply the fact. When you start working on yourself, you naturally begin to develop a new identity. You begin to create new ideals and principles, and you prioritize what is truly important. You establish healthy boundaries and begin saying no to things your previous version would have said yes to. It is unavoidable that as you advance, you will stop relating to those with whom you previously interacted. You'll become irritated with people. You may even appear cynical towards them, which is a clear indication that you are no longer vibrating at the same frequency as those around you. We attract people in our lives based on their level we're on. If you really want to level up, then don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you're a bum who enjoys sitting on the couch for 12 hours a day playing video games or binge watching Netflix, you'll most likely attract people who enjoy bumming around. However, once you decide to level up and start investing in your mind, body, and soul to live out your purpose, you'll naturally outgrow those people. Unfortunately, outgrowing people and friends can be stressful. You may even have doubts about your life. You may question whether you are a good person and whether you are on the correct path. You might think, is this journey even worth it? That question has held a lot of guys back from ascending to a higher version of themselves. But let me tell you, it's normal to lose friends when you're on a transformational journey. In fact, it's healthy, you shouldn't worry about it. Let me explain why we lose friendships. Because our elevation causes them discomfort. When you start evolving and growing, your pals may get dissatisfied since it suggests that they are still trapped in the same spot. You become a mirror, reflecting the lack of change in their life. It may hurt their egos because your earlier version is a comfort zone for certain folks. When you begin to develop a new identity, you interrupt the comfort zone, which causes you to fight and dispute. In fact, some of your friends may even criticize you for changing, which may make you feel guilty. And like I said before, you might doubt yourself, especially if your friends have been there for you. But you have to understand that although they have every right to feel the way they do, true friends will be delighted about your progress and perhaps even inspired by it. They will not try to hold you back or manipulate you to keep you on their level. Two things can happen when you've got to find yourself in this position. When you feel bad about the friction, you do your best to maneuver the situation while remaining in your limited version to prevent making others feel bad, which undoubtedly causes more harm than good to you and your pals, or you recognize that the repercussions of staying in the same location and shrinking to make others feel big at the expense of your own progress are lame. You can create appropriate limits, move forward, and lose friendships. There's no easy way to put it, people will leave you. But trust me, it's better to go with option two. Why is it okay and how can you deal with it? Change is the only constant thing in this world. It's natural for you to experience moments of change. As you mature, you will change for the better or worse. However, you must recognize that everyone's growth arc is unique. Everyone has their own route that they must pursue. When you follow these courses, you will end connections and friendships that are no longer beneficial to you. Losing friends on your growth journey is preferable to attempting to maintain such ties. This produces undue stress and anxiety. When you start working on it, keep in mind that true friends understand each other and grow together. Even if they are on different paths, true friends are helpful and responsible to one another. You like each other's company, you have fun, but you also push each other to be better versions of yourselves. You keep each other grounded and focused on the things that truly important. They are open about what they are doing, and they are willing to help you, just as you are willing to help each other. If they disagree with anything, they will strive to understand your point of view, and they will never sugarcoat it. Now let me break down the difference between a toxic friend and an accountable friend. Toxic friends make you feel bad about your growth, but an accountable friend will understand your perspective and give you space, even if they disagree with what you're doing. So don't let other people's emotions stand in the way of your progress. Remember, regardless of how horrible they make you feel, no matter how hard they strive to stay in your life, they will inevitably be left behind if the friendship is no longer mutual. I would also like to point out that when you find yourself naturally distancing from people that you don't want to be friends with, you're not going to feel lonely. You might start feeling lonely. Nobody really talks about it, but growth can be lonely. Use your loneliness as an opportunity to strengthen your relationship with yourself. Work on yourself by focusing all of your efforts on your needs and priorities. When you do, you'll feel more sure and confident like I said before we attract friends based on the level we're on. Once you've invested time in building your mind, body, and spirit, 
you will have created a newer, stronger version of yourself. Losing friends who no longer serve you is excellent news because it makes room for those who are on your level and are committed to improvement. New pals will be more in line with your new goals and ideals. But here's the kicker that might not happen immediately. Don't rush the process. Take time to build and nurture quality relationships. You don't need a ton of friends. You don't need an entourage. Find quality friends. Quality over quantity wins every time. That way, the next time that you go through another transformation journey, your friends will be able to understand and support you. True friends will support and grow alongside you. If you are currently uncomfortable among your circle of friends, it is probably time for a change. It's possible that you've begun the process of maturing and realize your buddies aren't on the same level as you and that you no longer relate to them, keeping yourself on the same level. Just to please your friends will not benefit you. It'll imprison you. You'll resist growth. Change is hard, but the result is worth it. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below and check out my other videos to learn more about how you may grow as a man.